what's up guys thanks for having so much patience with these uploads i know i haven't been sticking to my regular upload schedule but i'm working towards getting back to that schedule to get everything back on track but yeah here's a video from my road trip i didn't really do much vlogging the whole time like i got a lot of footage so i just decided to like narrate this video most of the way through so hopefully you guys enjoy the video So this is where the drive started to get a bit interesting. The scenery started picking up. This is on the one freeway. So it's like the Pacific Coast Highway, they call it. And it's like all along the coastline from uh, California up to Washington. And yeah. Decided to pull over and take a bit of a rest at this joint called uh, Ragged Point. And uh, as you can see, it was quite picturesque. Look at the mountain, look at the ocean. Look at the ocean again. It's crazy. It felt like a big movie screen I was looking at. The air's really pure up there too. It doesn't like smell or taste like uh, LA air. That's me just having a walk about, stretching my legs and uh, kicking about, you know, mucking around. So after some more driving, we decided to pull over and have a bit of a rest at uh, one of the first bridges at Big Sur. I'm not too sure what the name of this bridge is, but there's like three of them. But yeah, check it out. Honestly, it felt like I was on the edge of the earth, just uh, searching for a rock, a decent sized rock to throw into the uh, Pacific Ocean, as I'm about to demonstrate right now. No, not that one, this one. Yeah, that one will do. All right, here we go. Here's my pitch. You can't really see it land, but it landed in the Pacific Ocean. This is up at the next bridge. There's a bunch of squirrels getting about. There's a bloke there with some peanuts, chucking them down, and uh, yeah, they were fighting over the peanuts. You see the little one getting mobbed. Oh, there he goes. But yeah, this is the Bixby Bridge, I believe. It's the uh, Pacific Ocean again, and that's the Bixby Bridge right there. There's another little squirrel bloke. He loved the camera, this guy, but once he discovered we didn't have any food, he took off. One last shot of the Bixby Bridge, and yeah, amazing. Pulled off the highway about 1.30, pulled up in this town called Dunnigan. Over the way there, there's a truck stop. There was about 15, 20 trucks sleeping in there. We didn't park in there, though. we parked over here because I uh, didn't want to be interrupted by the uh, lot lizards. This is really good to miss out. We're in Portland, Oregon right now, guys. We drove up here from Southern California. It was a two-day drive. We took the Pacific Coast Highway. It was fun. We checked out Big Sur. Got a bunch of photos and stuff along the way. But yeah, we didn't stay in any fancy motels or anything. We just kind of pulled over and slept in the back of the car at like servos and truck stops. Had to watch out for the uh, truck stop killers and the lot lizards. But yeah, we're in Portland. We're gonna check out what Portland has to offer and then uh, probably check out Burnside Skate Park, one of the world's most famous DIY skate parks, if not the most famous, next to the slab, which is in Campbelltown, New South Wales. But yeah, we're in Portland, guys. Let's keep Portland weird. Some cool things about Portland. There's a lot of trees. The air is crisp. Food's pretty good. Has Burnside there. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much it. I got this cool <laughs> sign there that says keep Portland weird. But yeah, check it out. Check out Burnside. This place is a lot gnarlier than what it looks on the internet. Hit the like button if you're ready to watch me embarrass myself in front of the locals here, but check it out. I couldn't do much here. My ankle's still sore and uh, this place is mostly transition. But it was fun to go, it was fun to skate, and yeah, it's super DIY, as you can see. A lot of history here. If you ever get a chance to go visit it, definitely take your time to visit it. So we took a ferry from Remington, Washington to Seattle, Washington. It was fun, it was like one of those ferries you park your car on, then you get out and walk around, and yeah, check out the Seattle city skyline from the ocean. As you can see, this is where the cars park and you come in, you drive on and you drive off and you're in Seattle. This was a view of the city of Seattle at night from a place called the Gasworks. You can check out the Space Needle there by itself. Pretty cool. There's some fire twirlers, some street performers. They had some music going and they had some fire that was spinning around. And another view of the uh, Seattle city skyline there. Kind of reminds me of Sydney city at night. We rented some of these 
bird scooters or whatever company scooters these were. We rode around Seattle, that was pretty fun. Had a really cool time in Seattle actually. Pretty cool to see a city at night time as opposed to during the day. That's a big ferris wheel down at the Fisherman's Wharf or something it's called in Seattle. It's pretty cool. So this is Daniel and I loading up at the 99 cent store, some targets, getting a bunch of these dollar fizzy drinks to uh, shoot at, because we went shooting this day, it was pretty sick. We got plates too, and I bought two boxes of paint. As you can see, the paint the paint was really crappy. It was like watercolor paint in a can, so I bought two boxes just to shoot at and explode, and it was a lot of fun. But yeah, this is my first time shooting in America, so I decided to vlog it. I know YouTube doesn't like gun content and stuff, so sorry YouTube, but it was a fun time. So later on that evening, I got to do a few really fun tattoos on Daniel. He had a few spots on his arm he wanted to fill, so we ended up doing a few little gap fillers on his arm. They turned out really rad. Doing tattoos like this on like friends and family, it's sick because like I can just sit and like concentrate on the tattoo in front of me. I don't have to worry about anything else. And uh, yeah, I had a really fun time tattooing these ones. So as you can see, I got to do the Sailor Jerry Prisoner of Love, some railroad spikes and a really sick traditional mace, all lines and black shading, no color. This was the uh, Thrasher store in San Francisco. Had a lot of cool stuff up on the walls, a lot of history, memorabilia type stuff, a lot of cool stuff to look at.
So this is definitely the biggest road trip I've ever been on. It was all in all like 20 hours driving up, 20 hours driving down. It makes a four hour trip to the snow in Australia, like from where I used to live to the mountain. It seemed like a walk in the park, honestly. This is the biggest road trip I've ever been on. I'm glad I did it. I'm glad we took Pacific Coast Highway just to see it once. Like, I feel like once is enough. If you try to do it twice or three times, probably get a bit old pretty quickly. So yeah, got to see way more of the country. Like I haven't seen much of America outside of California. I've always been in Southern California. So I'm super glad I got to check out Portland and Seattle. And of course, San Francisco we hit on the way home. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. And uh, to all my ongoing supportive subscribers and fans, thank you so much for the ongoing support. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video and uh, yeah, cheers for watching. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs>